Hello YouTube, you crazy people. You're up buddy. Well, we're in Wales. Just about to get into the Breckens. And, uh, we had a good ride here. So I'd, uh, firstly I'd like to say a big thank you to all my new subscribers. Um, absolutely blown away the amount of people that have subscribed. I think I gained another hundred um, purely from Teapot's podcast. But uh, thank you very much, you're very welcome. And a big thank you to the subscribers that have been with me from the beginning. It's always a pleasure to have you all on board. So, I said to the wife, I'd, uh, my last four days, I'd, uh, she gave me man flu. She took what uh, what is a normal cold, common cold, and she turned it into man flu and infected me. So on my last four days off, I pretty much spent it all in bed. And then I worked all the uh, Easter bank holiday for slaves wages. And uh, so I'm on my, uh, my four days off now. It's uh, Wednesday today, and uh, I said to my wife, says, Wednesday, we're going to Wales. I says, you've got one or two choices. You can jump on the back. I says, oh, you're quite welcome to come on your tiger. And that's what she's done. She's jumped on the tiger, bless her. But this is Budsy's. Hey, Budsy. Whoop, whoop. This is Budsy's first ride on the big green sexy machine. And uh, as you could see, He's donning on a pair of the old wreck specs. Oh, you're going to Bobby Dazzler, aren't you, mate? And uh, after the podcast, I was messaged by a lovely guy called Martin. And uh, he gifted me this pair that he'd bought and not used, brand new. Came with two lenses. I still think probably could have done with an XXS, but they don't make one. I have been in touch with Rexpex. Says, look, come on, you've got to start making a smaller size than extra small. There's plenty of dogs out there, buddy size. So tell me, let me know in the comments below. Are you having trouble getting a set of Rexpex in XXS? Because they don't do them. And uh, leave a comment below. So I love this road. We're going into the Breckens now. We pretty much came in. Uh, all the way in on the A40 and uh, my wife's never been this way I found this road by accident oh probably three 2019 and uh, I was lucky enough through the first lockdown I was still working so I, I found this on the uh, on the development bike I was on at the time which was the 900 Tiger Pro and uh, found it purely by accident and then if you go back to uh, the video uh, the Breckens where I bought my mate Davil out and uh, I brought him this way and showed him this road he blew his socks off he absolutely loved it it's just the scenery the, the fact that you're out in the middle of nowhere and the views so uh, this has been the longest uh, run that I've done on the pan, as you can see, still haven't cleared that ABS bloody light. Did it the first time round and then it's come back since I've had the tyres done and now I can't clear it. So I can see a bit of black tape going over that. Because it does my bloody head in. Got my phone mounted, still haven't found another place for the camera to go yet. But, uh, I'm sure I will, we'll see what uh, footage it looks looks like today, what we get a buddy. Ideally I'd like it out of my, uh, my vision. It's just where to put the bloody thing. So yeah, I thought I'd uh, I'd bring the wife. I've never brought her this way, and uh, especially if she's terrified of heights, I thought I'd do her good. <laughs> she can do the Alps. I took her to the Alps in 2015. We did the whole Grand Tour, all the way from Switzerland um, to Ment uh, to Nice, and uh, she was absolutely terrified. But also loved every minute of it so it's always good to uh, confront your fears I mean, look at that 
The trouble is you could keep looking at that and before you know it the road's disappeared. Absolutely love it out here. It's amazing what we've got on our doorstep. And you lucky buggers that live in Wales, wow. I'm not jealous much. More sheepies. Come on little sheepy. Tell them buds, get out of the way. Oh no, little fluffy one. Even on a pan-European, it's quite uh, kind of a style, but you got an itchy scratch, love. Here we go, look at this, look at that. Oh my god, it's bloody beautiful. Well, we're heading to the side of that lake. Where we're going to have uh, bouncy, bouncy little lambs, go on. Oh yes, I bet, yes. Yeah, you tell them, get off the road. <laughs> yeah, you tell them. That's it. Yeah, say, get off the road. It's that road. Oh no, mate. It's just how rude. But they do live here, love. Hey. I think it's the dangly bit on the, I've left a, there's a bit of a length on the back of the strap for the goggles. I think it's flapping around and doing his head in. I must uh, cut it down a little bit for him. <laughs> I think he keeps thinking he's going to be attacked by a fly. He's going to be by a fly. Quite hungry, I've bought a picnic. A nice romantic picnic with my beautiful wife. I say picnic, it's a meal deal if I'm honest. But it's a picnic. Beautiful. I'd definitely love to come back here and do some camping. Are you ready, buds? Come back and do a bit of camping. You see his bless her. But she's like, oh my god, how are you? Bye -bye. Tell them to get off the road, love. Tell them. Tell them, buds. Get off the road. Oh, no, yeah. Too close for comfort, aren't they, sometimes, mate? Yeah, tell these ones to move. What a place to bloody eat grass. Look, tell them. Oh, you're that side. Oh, you'd miss your opportunity, love. Tell these ones. Tell them to stop sunbathing. Oh, I know. <laughs> Good as that he is. But to be fair, apart from the sheep, <laughs> you tell them, love. Apart from the sheep, there's not a lot going on up here, people wise. I mean, look at that. It's worth coming all that way just for that. Come on. Up you go, you big sexy green machine. Whoop, whoop. And on that note, it's time for a bit of lunch. Where are you at, bud? What you reckon? Ah, Budsy, what are you doing? Scanning, yeah. Budsy, I'm here. Do you enjoy your lunch? Yeah, got our sandwich. <laughs> but a lovely lunch. Lovely lunch. After a uh, beautiful lunch and uh, nearly losing my drone, which uh, just wouldn't come back until the battery was flat, which was an episode in itself. Unfortunately, we also lost the audio to the rest of this footage, but uh, the views are so spectacular. I'm going to let the video run, enjoy the ride. If you haven't subscribed, 
please do so. Hit that bell, which will give you the notifications to the rest of our videos, show us a bit of love, and uh, I'll play you Buddy's song. Started life on a puppy farm, a tiny cage in a windy barn. Didn't hold much hope that I'd be free. Then a lady wheeled her husband in. He looked sad, tired, and broken. But his eyes lit up and he smiled when he saw me. So I bowled over with all my might, and you picked me up and I held on tight. Never let go, and I never felt so free. Slow at the start Out of the chair and back on the bike We speed off and we leave behind the darkest times We've never felt so alive I bowled over with all my might And you picked me up and held on tight Never let go and I never felt so free I saved him at the same time he saved As ever, thank you very much for clicking on this video, taking the time to watch. Hope you've enjoyed this one. And uh, the very next video will be us on the Helmet Head um, Big Charity Bike Ride. I'll leave the link below for anybody that would like to make a donation or support is most welcome. And uh, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. I do apologise about the audio in the second half, but I hope you enjoyed the views. And uh, definitely go and find um, the roads in the Breckens, they're absolutely beautiful. The Devil's Staircase is definitely worth visiting. So as ever, please hit that subscribe button, hit that bell, and uh, we'll catch you on the next one. Stay safe out there.